Welcome back to Zachis. I'm so glad you joined me for another video. This one's going to be awesome video. I'm going to give you five quick tips, five quick tips on American Airlines. If you're flying American Airlines, you got to know this stuff. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Alright guys, we're going to go through five quick things here, tips that are going to make your trip on American Airlines better. Um, one is going to be about check-in and luggage and seats and all that stuff. Number two is going to be about security and boarding, your groups, how do you get on, all that stuff. Three is going to be snacks and water. Four is going to be your luggage, um, carry-on, stuff like that, um, upgrades, things like that. Number five is going to be about entertainment headphones, gear that you're going to need to travel with, and then I've got a bonus for you. So let's dig in, okay? Tip number one is check-in and luggage. Always want to try to book directly with American Airlines. AA.com. Try not to do third parties because if you're any problems, cancellations, weather, you can't go for some reason, it's so much easier to deal with American Airlines directly than having to go to Expedia or Priceline or something like that and deal with them. So you'll, you'll usually find the best prices too directly with American Airlines. And then once you get your ticket, get everything 24 hours before your flight. So if your flight's at 6 p.m. on Friday, 6 p.m. on Thursday, you're going to check into your flight. You don't have to do this, but I recommend it. Do it on the app or do it on the computer. Check in. Just make sure everything's good. Two reasons. You're going to get checked in so American knows you're coming. You get to pick all your stuff like, oh, I decided to take a check-in or anything like that. And just kind of get a look at everything, make sure your seat's still good, what you selected. And the second reason is a lot of times American will offer you an upgrade to first class or an upgrade to a better seat for a little, little bit more, maybe $20 more, $50 more, you know. But sometimes you get really good deals if you check in right at 24 hours. And um, so that's why I highly recommend that. Now, they do allow you, unless you get the very, very basic, basic package, they do allow you to select a seat, a free seat, which is called preferred, and they do let you take on one carry-on and one personal item. Now, if you do a what's called main plus or main, you can get uh, a guaranteed overhead space. You can get a better seat with a little bit more leg room. And I usually do that. You can always pay a little bit more, but that's always a little extra and stuff like that. You're also going to get, if you do main plus, you're going to get one free check bag. If you just do main, you can pay for it. You'll have to pay for a check bag, but you get a little bit extra stuff like the extra leg room. So there's three tiers, preferred, main, and then like a bonus main plus, and then first. So you get main and main plus, and then first. And, um, that's pretty much it for check-in. So tip number two is security and boarding. Uh, if you're first class, you can go through what in most airports, what's called priority boarding. If you're not pre-checked, you go through a special lane that gets you right to the front of security. Um, so you don't have to stay in that long line. So that's a really big benefit of upgrading to first class. Just a little tip there, but get into security. Don't take your water. You can take snacks, but you, the snacks have to be sealed and like bought from the store. They can't just be like whatever. You could get in trouble for that. Um, no liquids at all, unless you're special uh, stuff like uh, for babies or stuff. And then once you get out of security, you're going to hit a store. I'll talk about that in a minute and why you're going to hit the store. And then, of course, on your boarding pass, whether they printed one or it's on your app, it's going to tell you a group number. That group number or letter is going to be how you board the plane. They're going to call out different groups over the over the speaker you know we're ready for all the ones with special needs and kids and then military and then they're going to load first class in first and then they're going to start loading in the groups and depending on what you paid for like if you're main plus you're going to get in faster if you're like preferred in a free seat you might go all the way to the back of the line it doesn't really matter everybody's getting on the plane you have a seat it's not like southwest where you're 
you're if you're at the back of the line you could get a really bad seat i've got a whole video on that if you if you're fly southwest check that video out but basically you get on and you're good to go and it's pretty simple pretty clean and easy i've never had really a lot of trouble with american airlines they do close the door about 10 minutes before the flight and you can't get in so you want to get there you know at least an hour domestically before your flight you want to be going through security if it's a really heavy travel day like a thursday um, or Sunday night or Monday uh, can be Monday mornings can be a really heavy travel day or it's summer and people are traveling maybe get to a little earlier because security is going to be a little bit more backed up unless you're first and then you usually can get through pretty quickly unless you hit a security line that doesn't have priority tip number three tip number three is all about snacks and water so this is why you're going to want to hit the store so you may say ah, I don't have time or it's too expensive to buy water but I'm going to beg you here buy water, buy a Coke, buy something like peanuts or chips or something, just get you something. Even if you just get a water and chips, get you something because inevitably you are at the mercy of any airline. This is true for any airline I fly. I get on with a water, usually a Coke and at least some chips or peanuts because for whatever reason, especially with American Airlines, you can get stuck on the plane. Weather's gonna happen, they're gonna have to sit on the tarmac, they're even gonna taxi out sometimes, like they're taking off and then you could sit there. I've sat there on the tarmac, ready to take off for three hours. Thankfully, that's when I learned the hard way, what I'm teaching you now, get a drink. They didn't pass out one thing of water, no food, nothing. And I have seen so many videos lately of this happening. Just take my advice and don't argue with me. Just get you some water, get a big thing of water because you just never know. And then you're not at their mercy. If you're thirsty or you're hungry, you want to chill, you can do it and, and not have to worry about it. And you just, you just don't know what's going to happen um, and how you're going to get stuck on that plane. Sometimes they take off too and it's a bumpy ride and they just decide not to do drink service or sometimes um, you have to circle a little while because of a storm or something and they don't, they can't get up and do drink service and you're sitting there dying of thirst or hunger or both. Just be in control. This is my tip to you. Okay. Tip number four. This is a question I get a lot charging. Can I charge my phone? Most of the time on domestic flights, you're not going to have an access to charger unless you're in first class. Some of the newer planes are starting to get them. They're usually down below your armrest. Um, some of them are coming up into the back of the seat, but in first class, they're either down below your armrest or in your little pocket for where you stuff things. There's usually USB at this point, but most of the time you can't rely on being able to charge. So I recommend away travel and I use away travel for three or four years now because they bring uh they they install a battery pack into their carry-on you can um get this option and it's awesome so when you're walking down the airport you can charge your phone um you can pop it out too it just pops out so you can keep it at your seat if you need to charge your phone if it's a long day or you, do, you forgot to charge your phone or you're watching tv or whatever it's just very great and even internationally on my international videos i recommend this because when you're out touring the city and doing stuff, you wanna like be able to charge your phone. You don't want to die on you for a lot of reasons. You need to navigate security. You need to better make calls. You need to better take pictures and videos of your trip that you paid for, all that kind of stuff. So links are always down below on all the stuff. We'll get into gear, but I just wanted to mention this because a lot of people ask me, what about charging? What about charging? So tip number five is a big one. Tip number five is entertainment and headphones. Never ever rely on any airline, but especially American Airlines, because they sometimes have screens, sometimes don't, sometimes charge you for the screens. In first class, you will never pay for the screens, but they might work, they might not work. Um, they all, airlines are starting to offer this, like use your own personal device, right? Bring your phone. And so just warning, not always can you access that. Their system could be down, their Wi Fi is down, something's down, and you can't get into it. I've flown many, many times where I thought I was going to have access to entertainment or something to watch, and it was broken. It was down. The Wi Fi didn't work. I needed to, to do, you know, listen to Spotify or something. So, what I recommend here, my tip, is to download Hulu. 
download uh, Amazon Prime, download HBO Max, whatever you use, go into that app and download shows, download movies, download stuff into your phone, into your iPad, shows, movies. If you use Spotify or Apple Music, download your music to offline. And this way, you're never caught off guard. Maybe you end up watching something on, on American, what, no love lost, but maybe it's down and you like, you just pop your phone up and you're good to go. Now, I've got another little tip linked down in the description called Fly Flap. If you don't want to hold your phone or like sit like this, like always looking down, it's, it's called Fly Flap. It's a really simple little thing. It bends over the seat into the tray, holds your phone up so you can just sit back, watch TV. There's a lot of stuff out there, but this was the best one I found. So I thought I would share it with you and it's just really cool. Always bring headphones. Always bring headphones. Never, ever, ever play a game, TV, music, movies, nothing out loud. It's rude, rude, rude. And you just want to have manners and care about other people. And they don't want to hear what you're doing, what you're playing, what you're, what you're listening to. So bring headphones, bring your AirPods, bring your Bose Comforts, bring something. And if you forgot them, Bing, 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 bing. Hit that button, call a flight attendant over, they have some for you. They may charge you a couple of dollars, but usually they'll give them to you for free. And then you're good to go because they don't want you listening to it out loud. If you do, they're gonna come say something to you. And most of the time now they're making announcements because there's some so many people getting on planes now. It's unbelievable how many people are getting on planes now and not aware of this. They're they just play their game out loud or they play my friend the other day flew internationally and somebody let their kid just play movies for over an hour and the, the flight attendants finally said something, but it was crazy. Like, who does that? Um, you've got to be responsible and be caring and be considerate. So just take a note of that. Okay, now it's time for the bonus. The bonus tip is really, really simple. It's all about cancellations and issues. This is really true with American. I don't know what's going on with them, but it has not nothing to do with COVID or the pandemic or whatever you want to call it. Yes, that's escalated things and all their wokeness and trying to make people take vaccines that don't work, that you get sick anyways, you're going to get COVID anyways, all this stuff, firing pilots, all this crap. Even before then, I would be flying and they would have to turn the flight around because the, the plane was messed up. So I can't even count how many times I've gotten on the plane at the gate and we just sat there because they had to call maintenance. They're flying the same planes as everybody else and they're safe like everybody else, but they have constant, constant problems. Then you tack on cancellations, delays, all the stuff that comes with that. I rarely fly them these days because of all these issues before and especially now, but I highly recommend as a bonus tip, if you're gonna fly American Airlines, if you're like in Dallas and that's the hub, take a nonstop flight. Do not take connections. Whatever you do, if you get on that flight, make sure you're gonna get where you're going because if you take a connection with them, it's almost guaranteed you're gonna have issues, especially nowadays. So that's my bonus tip. You may not like the fact that I'm talking conservative, but I am a conservative and I think that if you think the vaccines work, then you're crazy because I have liberal friends that are boosted to the hilt and have been deathly sick with COVID. Somebody just came back a couple weeks ago from Universal, deathly sick, and they were boosted all the way up, everything they could get, wearing their mask, everything. It doesn't work. You need to be healthy. You need to take vitamin D. You need to consider ACQ and ivermectin, but that's another video. So I hope this helped you because the tips work no matter what your political views or anything like that. So... Anyways, hit that subscribe button if you want to be part of Zaka's Nation. We are on the right side here and we're always doing cool videos for you, no matter where you are, what you're doing, or who you are. Love seeing your beautiful faces. Thanks for being part of this journey and I hope you have an amazing trip and I hope this makes it more amazing for you and sets you at ease a little bit. If you're a first time flyer or something, these are tips that are gonna really help you just kind of ease into it. You're gonna have an amazing time. It's the safest way to travel and it's absolutely the funnest way. You're gonna just lift off in the air. It's a miraculous thing. You're gonna see such beauty and, and just get to relax and watch crazy movies or TV or whatever you wanna do. And uh, I hope you have an amazing time. I will catch you in the next Zacchaeus video. Peace.